You are watching CW39 Houston. This is ABC 13 Eyewitness News at 9 p.m. on CW39. Now, breaking news. That breaking news out of the southeast side. Houston police are investigating a shooting there in southeast Houston. Here's a live look at an apartment complex on the Gulf Freeway near Kings Point where this is happening. Police tell us they arrived on the scene to find a man shot. He is at the hospital now in critical condition. Police don't have any additional information on the person who committed this shooting at this time. We'll keep you updated as more becomes available. A woman was kidnapped, robbed and sexually assaulted by two men. She says one of them wanted her dead, but her quick thinking helped her survive and her testimony put the perpetrators behind bars. She hopes that her story can help other women and she spoke exclusively with our Marla Carter. This traumatic experience is over and I can begin to actually heal, you know, and Tisa Kelly is a survivor, a woman determined to help others after she thought she might not be here to tell her story. Tisa had just returned home to her apartment complex in March of 2017 when two men with a gun and just kind of like bum rushed me into my car and at gunpoint and took my keys from me, pushed me into the passenger seat. Um, put something over my head, uh, proceeded to sexually assault me in the car. They put a jacket over her head so she couldn't see. And then they went to an ATM where they made her withdraw money from her account. She'd been kidnapped and robbed, but they weren't done. Matilde Selvas and Martin Cruz then took her to their apartment where she was sexually assaulted. It was like a few hours, but I was sexually assaulted by one of them and, uh, as they had evidence, they recorded me. After hours of terror, Tisa feared this could be the end. I knew at one point where one of them like really wanted to try to like literally kill me. She then started to plea with Cruz, telling him she had two kids she wanted to get home to. Her story worked. Well, this is a, not something that's true, but that's just what I said, and it seemed to be working. And they took her back to her apartment complex and made her promise not to tell. She immediately called police. Cruz and Selvas were caught. Cruz was sentenced last week. Prosecutors at the Harris County District Attorney's Office say her strength is what put them behind bars. She was put in a situation that no woman, no human being, no one should ever be forced to be in. She had to make split second decisions in order to save her very own life. Both men were sentenced to 30 years. Tisa didn't just do this for her, but for all the victims. She hopes her story gives others the strength to come forward. It's such a good feeling to know that you can help put somebody away that can't hurt another female as he did me. Marla Carter, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Turning now to the COVID-19 pandemic, today has been filled with big developments regarding the coronavirus. So let's go over what's happened in the last 24 hours. Governor Greg Abbott has tested positive for COVID. He is fully vaccinated. Also today, Harris County leaders began pushing for people to get vaccinated with a $100 cash card incentive. The program runs through August 31st and it urges people to get vaccinated. It's coming as both Harris County and city of Houston leaders announced the greater Houston region has more COVID-19 patients in the hospital than at any previous point in the pandemic. It's hundreds of people waiting to get into the hospital. They've been, they're sick enough, they've been admitted, but they're in the emergency department or they're in a freestanding uh, emergency department somewhere or they're in a urgent care center or wherever they happen to be, they meet admission criteria, but they can't find a hospital bed. Hundreds of patients. And our way out of this is through the vaccine. Let's do our part. There's no excuse. We have the power to put this crisis to rest within two to four weeks if each person who does not have the vaccine steps up right now. We need to close the gap in the vaccinated in Harris County. This is achievable. We can absolutely do this. Statewide, more than 12,000 people are in the hospitals. Here in Southeast Texas, more than 21% of people in the hospital in Harris, Montgomery, and Fort Bend counties have COVID. 
Also, there are only 44 available ICU beds for that entire region. In Galveston, Brazoria and Jefferson counties, there are only six available ICU beds. About 30% of people hospitalized in that region have the virus. Meantime, vaccine numbers are slowly going up. Here's a look at those percentages. Fort Bend is at 80%, while Montgomery has just passed 60%. And as we talk about the COVID situation here and around the country, we are reminded of the heartache it can bring. Lydia Rodriguez died after getting the virus about a month ago, so we've been in contact with her cousin, Dottie Jones, after Lydia and her husband, Lawrence, were hospitalized last month. Now, Lawrence died from the virus earlier this month, and she told us that the couple didn't believe in vaccines. And when we spoke with Jones just two weeks ago, she said that Lydia had this message for her family. One of the last things she told her sister was, please make sure my children get vaccinated. The family has set up a GoFundMe account to help with medical expenses. A couple of dozen parents and students protested outside the governor's mansion in Austin yesterday, holding signs saying masks save lives. The governor has reiterated that he does not want mask mandates and is not backing down. Travelers are still taking to the skies as we see more and more Delta variant cases, but that too could be slowing down. The number of people being screened through TSA is going down, but that could also be from students going back to school, less travel as we get into September. Southwest Airlines has seen fewer people booking flights and more canceling trips. When it comes to flying and unruly passengers, United Airlines has this message for their flight attendants. Don't duct tape them. Don't duct tape those problem passengers. Seems like a strange message, but in a memo, United flight attendants are reminded that it's never been a policy and that other de-escalation processes can be used. If necessary, they can use plastic zip tie handcuffs for those unruly passengers. So the memo, if you remember, is in light of this incident on a Frontier Airlines flight. Flight attendants duct taping a passenger accused of groping two of them and hitting a third duct taped to a chair during a flight from Philly to Miami. Frontier originally put the flight attendants on unpaid leave, but reversed it after facing backlash. And caught on camera, thieves using tow trucks to steal cars. We found at least two cases where this has happened. Both victims are hoping surveillance video can help police pin the suspects that were using those tow trucks to steal their cars. ABC 13's Brooke Taylor has more on the police investigation. Both victims tell me the same thing happened. Their pickup trucks were parked outside their homes. They were locked when they were stolen. They checked those cameras and that's when they realized a tow truck stole them like that. It took them just seconds. Two separate incidents, 30 minutes away and a week apart. But what the victims do have in common is that their pickup trucks were stolen using a tow truck. Both caught on camera. It wasn't labeled. It was, it was a tow truck, but it didn't have no stickers or nothing. The most recent case happened on Carnelian Drive around 1230 this morning. After Robert Luna filed a police report, he decided to put his detective hat on and it worked. He found his car nearby. It was actually in the same neighborhood, about half a mile away from the house. Luna thought he was in the clear when he noticed the car thief didn't take anything inside. That is until he tried to turn his car on. I was like, oh, they stole my Cadillac converter. The second incident happened on Dennis Street involving a different tow truck, but it's the same story. The driver backs up, attaches the pickup truck, and the suspect drives off in just about 30 seconds. According to a police report, it was found on the side of a road, the windows smashed, and the car wouldn't start. While police try and track down the suspects in both cases, Luna is hoping to spread some awareness. I just wanted to put this out in, in the open so that it won't happen to other people. And Houston police say they do not believe that these are real tow truck drivers. They say that this is nothing out of the ordinary, though. If you have any information, you're asked to give them a call. In Houston, Brooke Taylor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Meteorologist Rachel Breyers here with a look at what's happening in the next 24 hours, because, you know, a lot of people starting school, trying to get into their routines. We want to know if it's going to be raining at the bus stop coming or going. Yeah, I mean, I would 
I don't think it's a bad idea to send your kid to school tomorrow with maybe a rain coat on or a rain jacket or if you want an umbrella because those rain chances actually going to be starting a little bit earlier than what they have been over the past couple of days. Up to a 30% chance of rain by 8 a.m. We're actually expecting the peak of the rainfall, the peak of the rain chance, I should say, popping up around noon. We're going to continue to have that 70% chance of rain through two and then we'll slowly see that decline as we head into the evening. We'll take a closer look at the rest of your forecast coming up. Rachel, thank you. So he grew up watching the Texans. He's wearing a Texans uniform now. Sports director Greg Bailey is back with the Elkins grad who made an impression in the team's preseason debut. And he's going home of sorts back to uh, Arlington, played college oh, football yeah. at TCU. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a big week for him. So on a long list of things to really like about the Texans preseason debut under their first year head coach David Culley, some good work from Ross Blacklock along the defensive line. Today Blacklock admits last year's rookie season never got on track. The lack of an offseason program due to COVID and everything else really hurt the second round draft pick. But the Elkins product has clearly raised his game. We saw it against Green Bay the day he credits great coaching and a much better team culture. The vibe and the energy is better. Um, the culture here is a lot better. Um, it's not like as much as like it was last year, but it's just it's a lot of competition. It's a lot of it's a lot of good guys around here. Great team. I understand that culture, the optimism, the positive energy from the coaches doesn't fix everything, but a lot of those Texans players have mentioned it. They've responded to it, and they really appreciate it under the first-year coach, David Culley. Yeah, and a lot of excitement that surrounds these players when they first get drafted. You'd like to see it come full circle. It, it does. It just took him a little bit of time, but it looks like the light bulb's coming on for him. We're looking forward to it. Yeah. All right, Greg, thank you. Coming up, we are taking a look at what you need to know about homeschooling. For those of you perhaps concerned about sending your children to school during this surge in COVID cases. At Kroger, every free pickup order is picked fresh and packed with care, or we'll make it right. We're fresh every day, so shop anyway. Kroger, fresh for everyone. You've got enough to think about maintaining. Luckily, your Volkswagen is easy. The all new 2022 Taos has a lower cost of maintenance than its Toyota, Honda, and Subaru competitors. Life's easier in a Volkswagen. Come into your Volkswagen dealer today and lease the all new 2022 Taos S for just $229 a month. You just want to meet your new niece. Here she is. But if slow upload speeds were to freeze your face and you accidentally snub a newborn... Nothing is ever good enough for you. Just remember, you're not a bad sister. This is going to be a problem. You just need better internet. AT&T Fiber delivers a faster internet experience with 25 times faster upload speeds than cable. Get AT&T Fiber. Plan starting at $35 a month for a year. Limited availability in select areas. Call 1-877-ONLY-ATT. Finding an electricity plan can be confusing. Introducing Power Wizard. Power Wizard's smart technology compares hundreds of electricity plans, finds the best one for you, and manages the switching process on your behalf. Power Wizard reminds you when it's time to renew and does the renewal for you. With Power Wizard, you will never overpay for electricity ever again. Visit PowerWizard.com and find out how much you can save. Power Wizard, electricity savings in a flash. It's summer. Time to trade hibernation for liberation. Couch time for tan lines. Because there's a big world out there, and it's calling. For every rock, road, and reason to get out and go, you can count on a Kia to take you there. Ranked number one in dependability by J.D. Power and backed by a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Get 0% APR for up to 60 months or 1,500 customer cash on the purchase of a new 2022 Sportage. It's the Rooms to Go Patio Labor Day Sale. A great time to get out and save on beautiful outdoor furniture, like this stylish four-piece set. Save on outdoor dining, seating, and more. Save on beautiful wicker and classic tea. Bring home this five-piece set, just $9.99. Or save on this outdoor sectional, just $34 a month with interest-free financing for 60 months. Celebrate with style and savings during the Rooms to Go Patio Labor Day Sale, going on now. 
Kroger delivery is always fresh because we check our produce at every stop on its journey to you. We're fresh every day, so shop any way. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Watch ABC 13 Eyewitness News at 9 on CW 39 every night. Now to the earthquake disaster in Haiti, a tropical storm now hampering the desperate search for potential survivors as the death toll climbs to more than 1,400. ABC's Morgan Norwood has the story. Tropical storm Grace battering an already hard hit Haiti. The country reeling from Saturday's 7.2 magnitude earthquake and the rain and heavy winds destroying what little many survivors had left. ABC's Matt Gutman on the ground. This tarp is basically held up by a stick and that's all they have right now. The search for survivors growing more intense with hundreds still missing. Among survivors, thirst and hunger. Hospitals overwhelmed as dozens desperately seek care. The double dose of devastation with the storm and earthquake prompting the UN to step in, allocating $8 million for recovery efforts. This money will provide essentials such as health care, clean water, emergency shelter, and sanitation for people impacted by this disaster. Our humanitarian colleagues are telling us that access to the southern peninsula where the quake hit is challenging because gangs are controlling movements. And here in the state's more support, the city of New York coming together to mourn the devastation. The mayor with a message. There is no New York City without the Haitian American community. It doesn't exist. Yes. And rescue operations are starting again now that the storm has passed, but officials on the ground telling ABC News the chances of finding people in the rubble are diminishing. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Los Angeles. All right now, kids across the state are going back to class, and a lot of parents are concerned about the pandemic and their children's safety. So for that reason, homeschooling is getting a lot more interest, suddenly taking off again. ABC 13 reporter Jay Feeling has more information to consider before you take the plunge. If you have already taught this child how to eat with a spoon, how to go potty, how to say yes man, no man, and you have already been teaching them for five years, so what makes you think you can't continue to teach them as they move forward. Jube Dankworth homeschooled her four kids and is now the COO of Texas Home Educators. She says if you're considering homeschool, remember parents can withdraw their kids from public school at any time to homeschool. It's never too late to start. Homeschool advocates say about 750,000 Texas students are currently homeschooled. The numbers increased during the pandemic and they're not slowing down. And our call volume and contact volume doubled last week. We went from three to 500 calls to about five up to 1,000. Tim Lambert with the Texas Homeschool Coalition says the pandemic is definitely behind the increased interest. And we're hearing parents who are saying, you know, I'm really uncomfortable with the situation in the schools. I don't want to wear a mask. I don't want my kids to wear a mask. I do want my kids to wear a mask. If you decide to homeschool but feel it's not working out for your elementary and middle school students, they can re-enroll in public school with a placement test. But high school age children face costly tests to get coursework credits needed for graduation. A recent poll suggests those who started homeschooling plan to stay with it. 72% of those said they were going to continue to homeschool. 19% uh, said they were going back to a brick and mortar school and 9% said they were undecided. All right, that was Jeff Ealing reporting good things to consider. Parents and students do need to know that homeschool children cannot participate in public school extracurricular activities, but there are homeschool groups that still offer football, basketball and baseball teams, as well as cheer, debate and music options. Some harrowing moments when an alligator handler was bitten at a petting zoo. Take a look. Wow, the man who jumped in is married to the woman who is recording this video. He held down the gator for about a minute with the handler's hand still lodged in the gator's mouth. The reptile started thrashing around again and the woman was able to remove her arm. The zoo in Utah says she is now doing well. Wow, thanks to that brave bystander. Rachel and I were watching the video just 
in fear. Yeah, that was that was terrible. I hope to never see anything like that. Oh. All right. So don't pet the alligator. Is that like alligators oh. and petting zoos? I, just, I mean, I don't. I don't alligator. No. Mm -hmm. You know what? Alligators are fast too. You, if you they go, are. and I know they have them out at Brazos oh. Bend State Park. Stay at least 30 feet away. That's what the park uh, rangers will tell you. Well, they at get you because they have such small little legs. But whew, no, no, quick, quick. Let's let's head over to Texas <laughs> City. I mean, we have a gorgeous view here. We'll we'll change gears there. I mean, just watching you know Galveston Bay, gorgeous over here as well. Now we actually saw a lot of sunshine earlier this morning, but look at what happened as we headed into the afternoon. Saw a few of those little showers and storms making their way on through the area. And now outside, we are looking at partly cloudy conditions. The good news is, is that if you did see rain fall today at least help to cool you down a little bit right now our temperatures are still on the warm side 78 right now in Tomball 83 in Houston 87 over in Galveston and 80 degrees over in Bay City and overnight tonight those temperatures going to fall not quite as much though as what we had last night 77 in Houston tonight 76 in Angleton and 77 degrees expected over in Winnie and then as we head into the day tomorrow those temperatures will continue to rise up into the low 90s, but we do have that chance for some of those cooling downpours. So if you get some of that rainfall, expect a bit of a temperature drop. So want the rainfall, just don't necessarily want the heavy rain, which could lead to flooding, which we do have to watch for as we head into the day tomorrow. Some street flooding cannot be ruled out. Now the rain as we head into the day tomorrow will actually start getting going a little bit earlier than what it has over the past few days. A 30% chance of rain by 9 a.m. by noon up to a 70% chance and then that 60% chance of rain will continue as we head into the afternoon hours. Eventually, we'll see that rain chance dip down as we head into the later evening hours. But the rain chances will not be over past Wednesday, continuing with a 40% chance of rain on Thursday. But then after that, some slightly drier air makes its way on through. High pressure starts to dominate our forecast, and that's when we start to see those rain chances decrease and more sunshine going to be popping back up as we head into this weekend. So Saturday, partly cloudy, 20% chance of rain. Sunday, mostly sunny, gorgeous, high of 98 degrees. So we're trading those rain chances for those hot temperatures. If you are going to be outdoors, make sure that you are staying hydrated and wearing that sunscreen for this next weekend. Train enthusiasts have their cell phones in camera mode to take pictures with Union Pacific's Big Boy Locomotive. The largest operational steam locomotive of its kind is parked at the Amtrak station in downtown as part of a tour to celebrate the heritage of Union Pacific. Fans got to see just how massive the 17 foot tall locomotive is as they stood next to it and barely came up to the wheels. The big boy is unbelievable. It's the biggest thing I've ever seen. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I look at it. A monster. The locomotive is a reminder of the importance of the history of trains in our country. The big boy leaves Houston tomorrow morning to head east to Beaumont. And we'll be right back with a recap of our top stories. Your nightly session continues at 11 p.m. with mom. Your late night laugh therapy on CW39 Houston. It's the Rooms to Go Labor Day sale. Save over $1,000 on Beauty Rest Legend mattress closeouts like this Firm Queen $9.99 or $17 a month, or this Pillow Top Queen $11.99 or $20 a month, interest free during the Rooms to Go Labor Day sale. Are you ready? Ready to dance and discover? Ready to celebrate and be inspired again? Are you ready for a truly authentic experience? See San Antonio. See more San Antonio. Experience over 150 deals when you stay in a participating hotel. Learn more at visitsanantonio.com forward slash SI. It's another day and anything could happen. It could be the day you welcome 1,200 guests and all their devices. Or it could be the day there's a cyber threat. Get ready for it all with an advanced network and managed services from Comcast Business. And get cybersecurity solutions that let you see everything on your network. Plus an expert team looking ahead 24-7 to help prevent threats. Every day in business is a big day. We'll keep you ready for what's next. Comcast Business. Powering possibilities. Are you looking for energy efficient windows? Our customers agree that Window World windows are a sound investment. Because from the moment they go up, so does the value of your home. 
Window World windows insulate you from the summer heat to help your energy bills go down. And come in a variety of styles and colors to help your curb appeal go up. For long-lasting beauty and energy efficiency, call Window World for your free estimate today at 800-GET-WINDOWS. Why are people driving from all over Texas to Wiesner Hyundai to get a real deal? And during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event, save even more. Get a 2021 Hyundai Elantra SEL or Sonata SE or Tucson Value, your choice. 0% for 60 months. Get this 2021 Santa Fe SE, 0.9 for 60 months. Get away at Wiesner Hyundai. Get a real deal and buy for less. Where customer service is job one. Exit 87B Wilson Road in Conroe or WiesnerHyundai.com. In store or online, we deliver. Express Flooring makes the grade. Call now for free in-home shopping and back-to-school savings up to 63%. Express is taking extra precautions for your safety. For A-plus savings and selection, call Express Flooring today. Call 855-MY-FLOOR. It's the Rooms to Go Labor Day sale. Save big on this comfortable two-piece dual power reclining sofa and stationary love seat. Just $21.88 or $37 a month interest free. And your choice of color during the Rooms to Go Labor Day sale. Two and a half men tonight at 10 and 10:30 on CW39. Houston. Taking a look at our top stories, Governor Greg Abbott has tested positive for COVID-19. His office released a statement saying he does not have symptoms and is now isolating at the governor's mansion in Austin. Remains in good health as well. Abbott is fully vaccinated. A murder charge has been dismissed against one of the former officers in that botched drug raid, which killed a husband and wife in southeast Houston two years ago. Harris County DA Kim Ogg says the case against Felipe Gallegos will be presented to a new grand jury to consider an indictment. Ogg says there are questions about the conduct of a former prosecutor who handled the case. So the evidence will be reviewed by a different prosecutor out of an abundance of caution. Thanks for spending your night with us. Wake up tomorrow morning with Eyewitness News at 4.30. Stay safe, stay well. We'll see you back here tomorrow night at 9.